Welcome back to the channel. We are finally able to sit at the desk for a reasonable amount of time, which means I can start recording some more videos again. So for those that don't know, I had a fall recently. I have injured certain parts of myself. I am okay, but it does mean that I have had to keep my leg elevated a lot and I've been doing a lot of colouring in bed, which isn't near my filming setup. So I haven't really been able to film to make a lot of videos uh, lately. Um, but I've been able to sustain streams and not feel too bad afterwards. So I think I'm okay to sit at the desk and record for a, at least a couple of hours now. Um, and we'll see how we go. So we're going to do a page in Alien Worlds. Um, I really, really love Alien Worlds. This is one of the books I actually had when I was in the hospital. So I did end up doing a couple of pages when I was in the hospital in here. And it just made me fall in love with the book even more. So yes, Alien Worlds by Kirby Rosans. So in this book, how I'm approaching it is every planet has a colour scheme. Um, so I've only worked on two planets so far. I've worked on the Crystal Kingdom, which is my absolute favourite planet. And then when I was in hospital, I did some work on the air gas planet. Um, so as you can see, the air planet is yellows, whereas the Crystal Kingdom is purples. In terms of colourway, I haven't worked out exactly what I'm doing for the other planets in terms of colour. Um, if I want to do, like, one of the planets is water, so do I do a traditional blue? Do I do a different colour for that? One of the planets is lava, so it's probably going to be red, but it could be a little, you know, predictable, and I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. Um, so I'm still thinking about that, but I really like this page here, um, which is page 23. Love the fact the pages are numbered in this book. So it's the Alien Throne. The planet's ruler, resplendent in its finery, spends its life esconded in the royal palace, found deep within the inner part of this gas planet's thick atmosphere. Here it is shown on its elaborate throne, from which it issues its commands. So I did wonder if I was going to keep the gas with the yellow theme in this one. However, I think it's appropriate because it does say it is enclosed in the planet's fumes in that so I'm going to start by going into all these gas clouds and getting my yellows in there and then I'm going to try and figure out what we're going to do for the rest of this creature because there's quite a bit of detail in here um, so today we are going to be working with my polychromos pencils um, and the gas planet colors are the peach yellow and peach and yellow so it was originally called dark flesh i feel i've renamed this to dark peach now from memory um it is color 130 i think yeah 130 and then uh naples yellow and dark naples ochre 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 i know color names right <laughs> Uh, so colour 185 and 184, these were the ones that I've used previously. If I need some brightening I may pull in some of the brighter yellows as well as we go through this. But we're just going to begin by working on the clouds.
Okay, so I have finished the basic colours of the smoke. I hope the microphone's not picking it up too badly. There is literally a concert going on next door to me right now, so the music be allowed. But yeah, so I've done the actual smoke plumes, and I also want to use this peach colour in these sort of background areas, but I also want to kind of figure out what is this creature and what is background, and so I need to colour in the creature to do that. Um, I also will go over the clouds with the white posca as I've done here to make the lines less defined uh, but that will be one of the more final steps when we've coloured around it. So I'm noticing a couple of things on here. So we have a couple of feature gems so I think that'll be really cool to make a really nice bright pop of colour. Um, and I'm thinking purple because yellow and purple always is a really beautiful complement. And then the other thing I noticed is that in this creature's designs, we have these lines. And I thought it would be really cool as if these lines are the, like, what's creating these smoke gas clouds. So this creature is actually producing it, so colouring them in yellow. But certain areas of these lines, it actually fades out. So I need something where I can also blend the yellow into whatever colour we do, the skin tone. So I was thinking a lovely bright green would actually work quite well, especially if we do like these little gems in purple. Um, so we've got like a gem here, a gem here, these three here, and then we can also bring it into the eyes and we might even be able to like use it in some other elements around. And then we have these sort of iridescent wing areas. Well, they're not iridescent, but I view them as iridescent. So bringing in a light blue and then possibly even some glitter could be quite pretty there as well because um, I always look for a place to put glitter. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for the plan is starting with the purple gems, the light blue here, um, purple gems, moving into the green down here and then obviously there's some areas like these spotty areas and some background bits that we might come to naturally figure out as we go along the way um, but I'm going to start with what I have kind of figured out and see what colors I can put down um, and then I'll put you back onto music while I do it just so you don't have to hear this very loud concert going on next door to me
this is where we will leave it off for this video. Uh, we've made quite a bit of progress. Uh, we've got basically the bottom half completed apart from this little area in here. I still have a little bit more of green and peach to work out in here. Um, and then I think we're probably going to do some more green in here. And I've got a few things I want to do to finish it off, touch it up. But we'll cover all that in the next video. For now, I'm very happy with how this is coming together. It's just as I envisioned with the bright green and the peach and the yellow. And yeah, I like where it's going. But for now, I'll wrap this up here and we'll carry on with this in the next part of the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.